Equally, I think diplomats need to understand what science is doing. And we're currently working uh, uh, with uh, a number of agencies and organizations to actually create an online training course for diplomats in what is science diplomacy, understanding that these are two very different cultures. Yeah. The culture of diplomacy and the culture of science are different. And you need translators, people who have, can have one foot in each camp to make the best of it. I mean, at the end of the day, diplomats are critical to the world's future. It's the diplomats that sit and make the decisions in the, in the multilateral bodies, whether it's over climate change, whether it's over ozone, whether it's over ocean, deep sea mining or anything else. But they need and are best supported by scientists who can tell them where the, where the issues lie. I mean, if you take something as basic as the World Trade Organization, the management of trade around the world, without the science that provides the basis for phytosanitary regulations and other regulations, we could not have a, a trading system for the world that works. Now, admittedly, it's in trouble at the moment because of, a, because of some political issues, but we still need a World Trade Organization. We need, organize, these are technical organizations